Hi and welcome to Python tutorial of pharmacy management system. Okay, let me start by entering my username and let's enter a password. There's been a mistake there. There we go. Nope. Okay, supposing we enter different password and change our mind, we can always reset. And if you want, you can exit. The choice is yours. If you exit there. Okay, let's restart it again. There we go. Now, supposing we enter the correct login details and enter our password and click on login. There we go. You see these two buttons are now enabled. So you can always go straight into the patient's registration system, which is right here. Okay. And you can enter patient details in there. Let's say the patient happens to be Ali. Ali, Ali. And address postcode and telephone number of early driving license and there okay we can add all of Alice information straight onto our system right there and actually this very program is on YouTube which I will show to you okay that is about Ali we can exit yeah or go back to the hospital management system select whatever medication you want and just populate that there get that populated and you can also populate your database system there okay so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into Python development environment and we will put one of these together. So let's go to file, new, okay, let's close all of these, we don't need them anymore. There, and let's start a new project. Okay, I'm going to start by importing the following, let's say, TK, you know, import it all there and import as follows. Okay, the next thing we want to import. Okay, the next thing is let's define a function, and this function is going to be called main. There, and right there, I'm going to say root equals TK. Then let's define my app. Let's say app equals window one, just like I did in my login system. I call that window number one. In this case, I'm going to be having three windows. Let's root there. Now. I'm going to round it up. Let's just close the whole system. So right underneath here, you end up and say if. Let's do it properly. If space underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals. Okay. And underscore underscore main and close that column and let's say main there okay I'm going to have to save it now let's come into file and just give it a name let's go to my desktop we have everything so I'm going to save it as pharmacy yeah. 
here. Let's call it pi underscore pharmacy, something like that is fine. Okay, okay. The next thing I want to do now, since all this has been entered, let's create a class, and this class I'm gonna call it Window One. There we go. So for my Window One, enter a column and okay let me define the following function so I'm going to say initialize as follows so let's make that self comma master and column and it's going to be known as let's just say self dot master copy that and just change this to dot dot master and that will be equals master that's what I'm gonna call it so the next thing I want to do now is right here I'm gonna give it a title self dot master dot title and that will be pharmacy management systems right that would be the name of my that would be the title and close that as well now the next thing is let's say self dot geometry and that is to define the size of my application Set dot geometry, and I'm going to make that 1350 multiply by 750 plus zero plus zero. The plus zero plus zero that is the coordinate starting from here. Now, the next thing is self dot frame. Let's create a frame. So I'm just going to call it frame as well. And this frame equals frame. Widget frame. And inside widget frame is going to be self dot master. Alright. So let's say self dot frame and let's pack that. Get that out of the way. Dot. Right. So I've officially created my first window. So if you want to verify that, let's run it and you see that. That's my first window created. Okay. So if you want to create or to create a second window, you can just copy this. Let's copy all of that, provided you don't want to carry out any other changes. And right there, paste that. That is my second window. I'm gonna make that number two. And right below it, I'm gonna have window number three. This is number three. So this one is going to be the pharmacy management system. And I'm just gonna call this registration system registration system or we can just change that to patient's registration system right and finally this one we can just call this maybe hospital hospital management system right those are my three windows created Okay, to be able to view these three windows that I've created, because if I run it, you will only be able to see just one. We won't have access to the other, to the other two. So, but to be able to have access to them, I will declare a function. Let's say function. I'm gonna call that window. Let's say window app. Okay, let's just say new underscore window. Alright, 
equals self and this very window is going to be inside this new variable new window let's make that up okay so new window equals top top level all right and that will be inside self dot master there we go self dot up and that is going to be my window number two this very one here window number two that's what i want you to call and inside window number two the name is self dot new window right that is this function will be called so let me copy that same function and take it down so that is for my second window I can just call it okay, if this is this is registration window so let me let's give it a proper name this will be for registration so we call that registration window paste that there why we call this hospital window where is it hospital window let's come in here there and the hospital window is window number three that is it okay okay to confirm that these windows work i'm going to add a button here just to call both windows let's say btn or uh, that will be let's call it btn registration btn registration equals button and this button would be inside self dot frame hey okay, and i'll like you to call self dot registration frame is very one registration window and just close that that will be the very first one that'll be my very first one this is just to check to make sure it's working as it dot grid equals row equals zero and the column equals zero okay let's copy that and move that around for the second one this is just to try to check to make sure it's working and the second one is hospital window copy that and paste this here now if it works as we want we can then modify it get it modified get rid of that and get rid of these two and there should be self there else it will not be recognized okay all right let's change this to column one and let me enter text on them let's say text equals registration that should be patient's registration on that very button and comma right there that's the first one and the second one let's enter another text on it here and just paste that in there that's hospital management system i think that's the name here yeah. copy that and come right there paste that there there so let's run it and just to confirm that those two 
windows are working as expected there we go now this is pharmacy management system click on patient's registration that's the patient's registration system is there so that is there now click on hospital that is hospital management system so all of the windows are working as we want okay now that we are we satisfied that the windows are working so let's do some let's tidy up then we can then call the various program and here are the programs that I would like to call on my YouTube channel let me show it to you guys I would like to call the following yeah I would like to call hospital management system and I would also like to call member registration system I will change that to patients registration system so you can see those two videos on my YouTube channel and you guys can study that add that to your own main program so I'm gonna close that okay now to start with we need to create a login details because we don't want the end user to gain access to these okay you should have a login of the username and the password to be able to gain access to this so we will have to disable this these two buttons so first thing I will do here I'm going to add let's move this down I'm going to add the title and this title is right inside this frame okay it's called pharmacy management system so if I run it that title should be displayed on my system but I need to move these two buttons down that's no problem because those two buttons are now going to be inside a frame so let's start by creating a frame so I will speed that up and just there, those are the frames that I'm going to be using from here down here those are my frame so there's going to be three layers so that's frame login one two and three so let's change this to just ordinary frame instead of if you want you can use a label okay all right I'll get rid of that and just get rid of this as well and move this here and move this as well since it's now an ordinary frame we don't need the font anymore and this get rid of that as well those are my frames although you won't be able to see these frames but we can always let me just define the size so that you guys can see the frame I can always get rid of that so I'm gonna copy this and just paste it in here paste that so that you guys can just see the see the shape of the frame so let's start with zero zero Okay, that's the next one below and um, followed by this variable oh that is yeah that's the login that's the title frame one two and three and these two well, we actually want them I actually want them inside frame three so let's come in here and paste this in here why the other login details will be inside frame one and two so this should actually be self dot frame let's copy self and paste it there right those are for the buttons let's see okay the framework is there now let's reduce one or two things so instead of 600 I'm going to change this to maybe about 300 and this one will be 100 why this will be 200 
and for now I'm gonna make this let's say about ten or maybe two let's make it two so that you can see all of the frames so let's run it and see there we go it's coming up now so we need to move this up and move this up a little bit more all right let's come to let's come here and change this to about 20 so that should give us more room there we go guys now we're getting somewhere all right so now in here i'm going to enter text box um label and text widget and three buttons here okay now let's copy these buttons and paste it right there so I'm going to change this to btn log that's for my first buttons and this is btn reset there okay one more that will be btn exit btn exit okay now let's rearrange the whole button as zero zero this one will be one and this one will be two there and they are all resident right inside frame two so login frame two change that to that right and this is going to be known as exit this is called reset why we call this login right we need to do something with the width so I'm going to copy this and just chain the width around Increase the font size. Let's say font now equals that will be area comma let's say twenty comma. I make that bold. Close that. Let's just copy that and paste it for the rest buttons all of the buttons in fact come right down here and these first buttons as well right okay now let's run it and see how it's going to look like all right you see that guys so what is left for us to do now is i'm going to have to disable these two buttons only when you enter the right login details will you be able to see that very button all right so let's come down and just take care of the button states so in there the these buttons should have a state and that is going to be state equals that will be disabled right that is for that only when you get the login details right will you be able to enable it so let's run it and see again what's going to happen there we go it's all disabled now Okay. if you get this right you'll be able to log in now 
let's create the text widget so right up here just below the frames here are the frames I'm going to create my text widget let's put a break so that I know what I'm doing okay that is going to be for buttons right. this is another button here okay all right text widget in here the very first one is going to be a label so I'm gonna copy this label paste it in there and this is going to be known as password let's say LDL no username that is the name of that very label copy that and change this to username and LBL username is going to be inside frame number one login frame one and the text content on it is username there we go let's reduce that to maybe 30 for now right I'm going to need two of those another one is going to be known as password there we go password is right there send to password LBL password okay let's change that to password as well let's come in here and this will be password like I said now I'm going to have to create two undo that I'm going to have to create two text text field they are known as entry so create another one here and let's change this to I'm going to change that to LB no TXT TXT and this one be TXT as well so here is actually called entries right that is done and repeat the same thing for this one entry and change this to txt and this as well those are the right and they're going to be right in here yeah that is fine so this one will be zero zero that's zero one and this one will be row one column zero row one column one now before i proceed let me get let me get this sorted right up here i'm going to enter variables two variables so that's going to be equal string variable so that is my first variable is known as username and the second one is going to be set the password equals string variable as well so those two variables are created and inside the text box we're going to have to call those two variables now to call the very first one here user inside user I'm going to enter the let's say comma text text variable equals user and the other one is going to be password yeah right there password no it's meant to be self dot password and there's self missing here as well right those are our variables in place okay before we run it let's check one or two things here is supposed to be log self.log and self.log here 
as well right just press enter here okay okay let's get rid of this we don't need this for now let's get rid of this as well I don't think we need it in the on the label as well so let's come straight to the label get rid of that and here as well I think we are almost there so let's have a look at it and just go to run before we okay that's good no we need to change this one to password let's go back in there and come back in here this should not have that get rid of that yeah and this should be password right we don't need text in here as well get rid of that as well and I think that will be all for now so let's run it and see okay that's fine for now so so let me enhance the look of this interface then we can go into some other aspect of the programming so here I'm going to change this border let's make that 22 and see and now we take it from there there's another one here the other thing I'd like to reduce would be the let's reduce these to about 17 as the width of the buttons make this 17 as well and one more okay let's see what's how it's going to look like then we'll take it from there all right so it's getting a little bit better okay so i'm just going to speed up the enhancement of the interface then i will get back to you guys shortly okay let me just show it to you guys and let's enter pad equals eight there and see how it's going to look like and that's i'm going to make it about 18. so let's run that okay it's getting a little bit better now instead of 18 let's make it 20. there we go guys so like I said I'll just speed it up and get back to you shortly okay that is done so let's run it apart from the login system itself so this is fine now so let's go back to the login system I'll just enhance one of the components on board so let's come in here where we have password right here so I want to enter a comma there and let's say we part it to the x exit by 85 that should get it sorted for me let's see there we go so now that that is done so I'm now going to come right in here so right below the button here Let's copy this and just let's enter one or two lines of code to take care of the login details. Right. Okay, the first thing I'll do is I'm going to define the login system. And that very login system should be self really okay self and the next thing is let's declare the following variable I'm gonna call that it's going to be a local variable so that would be use equals let's say self dot user 
and that is the variables that are declared up there dot there so that's one of the variables that is right up here that I'm using now okay come right down the next one I'm going to use is the password so come right down and right in here the next one is going to be pass oh that looks like a reserve word okay let's just call it PAS equals self dot pass password dot fit. right that is done now let's use an if statement if if use user equals equals I'm going to enter actually to convert it to string equals let's go for the following maybe one two three four close that and pass equals equals string let's say two three four five there and what I like the system to do entire column there what I like the system to do is to enable those buttons these buttons that are disabled so I'm gonna copy that save dot register okay dot configure dot config and change the state to equals normal right and i'm going to repeat exactly the same thing for the hospital come right there first and the hospital is going to be the same but in hospital get it indented okay so that is fine all right the next thing is supposing the end user enter invalid details else what i want the system to do is as follows disable all of this let's change that to disabled disable this as well and the text that will be the text box now let's use the variable clear whatever we have in here so I'm going to copy this paste that there copy this as well paste that in there and change get to set set that to nothing same thing here and here as well so that's what we're going to do for that and maybe let's say self dot txt username dot focus right there that is taken care of what about the message box? Yeah, let's add a message box. So let's say tick enter dot message message box dot let's go for let's go for okay, just okay is fine. Alright. Pharmacy management system. Right. And call.
comma there that is the title and we can just enter a statement here you you have entered an invalid invalid login details right close that so that'll be the message that should pop up all right okay let's try this out but before then we have to be able to call this i'm going to call that inside my btn log so the command in there instead of this that i used to call the previous one will become btn log right so let's run that and see Okay, let's try it out and see what's gonna happen. Nothing is happening to so exit. Let's see. I have a feeling this is the problem, so let's get rid of that. Let's come back in here and just put a dot and enter ask. Yeah, I'm gonna add this right so let's run it now i've changed it to ask yes no okay let's see invalid login yeah that's fine good let's enter correct login data there you see that guys that's fine so now that we're able to call this very window Let's see if we can call the second one. Yes, we can call that too. All that we need to do now is to take care of the reset and take care of the exit. Then we can just copy and paste my previous program there. Okay, for the reset, I'm just gonna copy something. Okay, let's come in here. That will be for reset there and this is for reset copy that paste it right in there for reset there we go that's for reset so let's come right in here and the indent that that's reset taken care of so let's go into button reset and just change that to reset right here. Command equals self dot reset. And the last one is going to be command self dot exit. So let's do that as well. Right. Now scroll right down. The next one is going to be my exit. I exit there we go there let's add a space here now as for I exit I'm going to use the following it's going to be self dot I exit so let's copy all of these that's handy so let's go for self self missing here as well and self here yeah okay and here we start by saying self self dot i exit equals as follows so let's change the content in here confirm if you want to exit confirm if confirm if you want to exit so that is that done so now let's use an if statement if self dot i exit greater than zero 
that will be self dot master dot destroy there we go else I'm going to call the next command else let's see and we can just return there's no point yeah so let's just enter return there so that's exit taking care of as well okay let me run it and check out those components we have an error let's see exit so let's have a look let's see all right it's i exit right let's come in here and try it again there exit that is fine let's see if the clear works reset works good everything is working okay all that is left for us to do now is to add my programs right here let's come right down here right here I will add my programs so I'm gonna open up my programs show it to you guys I have those programs on YouTube like I said earlier on Here and the other one will be down below so let's come in here copy all that paste and let's get those programs out for you guys to see okay guys here are the lines of code that I'm going to be adding so have a good look at it it is actually on YouTube it's called registration system So I'm going to be adding this yeah so I will now copy every single lines of code and paste it right in, inside my second the second framework or the second window so let's copy it right from here so take it right down there and right here okay second window okay and uh, before I paste it let me run the program for you let's run it so that you guys see how it looks like it's on YouTube like I said earlier on that's the program all you do is enter and get its name and so on and there we go and you populate and that's it so I'm now going to paste it right here paste there so let's check and make sure everything is in order there shouldn't be any problem let's see right is on YouTube so you have no problem guys and oh you can always make up your own program All right let's run it and see that's the very first one for the patient registration system okay there we go now enter the password enter the second and there we go patient registration system there you see that guys that is fine okay one more let's take care of this instead of empty window let's get something on board so I'm going to exit yes close that let's get that very program as well okay and right here guys we have the second lines of code that's the hospital management system Okay, let's enlarge that so that you can see it. I'm going to copy right from the top. I also have the hospital management system on YouTube. 
and like I said you can always make up your own program and just copy and paste it right there that is it and that is all there is to it so I'm now going to run it there that's how it looks like okay close let's just show you one or two things Just pick that up there, description, add the exit, and so on. Okay, close that and let's copy it from here. Take it right to the top and there we go. Yes, just up to here. Let's copy it so close that we don't need it anymore. Close that too right and let's go right down here we want window number three there we go window three right in there paste and that is it okay get rid of this And we're gonna get rid of this. We don't want it as root, it's got to be self.master. Yeah, and that's all there is to it. So let's run it now. Enter invalid login details there. There, nope. Okay, let's reset our component and see if it works. Yes, it works. Do you want to exit? No. Enter the right or the correct login details. And this is 25 or whatever. Log hospital management system. There you go, guys. You see that? So the system is working fine. And there's one more thing, just one little thing that needs to be taken care of, and that is the the password. We want that to be star. So you see that, guys? We can add. We can delete. Okay. We can reset. Exit. Yeah. Okay. This I want it to be star. So let's look for password. Close that. And we need to find out why do we have that okay I think I know where the error is let's come in here and just get rid of all of this we don't need them there we go right let's try our program again first of all let's close this run it Enter the valid login details there and there. There we go. Now let's see if there's any error. Close that. No. So that's fine. That's taken care of. Okay, let's go right up there. I need a text box. The text there we go. The password I mean. It's called widget. So right in there I'm going to enter show equals star there so that means whatever you enter in there instead of you seeing the bar the showing the password and so on is going to be showing stars so let's come in and run that and see okay invalid there we go guys yeah and enter the correct login details there right there guys and that is how you develop your own pharmacy management system using multiple windows so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it 
You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.